We're seeing a much more systematic issue with Carvana um, that is happening more frequently in more counties um, with more cars. Since Contact Denver 7 first started investigating complaints about the online car dealership Carvana, we found the state of Colorado is now taking action. I have been digging into Carvana complaints for two months now, especially people not getting their titles and finding out about undisclosed damage. Well, tonight we are going in depth with the head of the state agency now putting Carvana on notice. You might have heard of Carvana and that we sell cars online. Carvana's promise is easy car buying, but one customer after the next. I don't want anyone to experience this. Tells contact number seven. Run away from these people at all costs. But Carvana's promise was broken. This could potentially be serious odometer fraud. Contact number seven has been investigating the popular online car dealership now under scrutiny nationally. Multiple states issuing fines and suspending their license. To this point though, it seemed the state of Colorado had done little to nothing. Is this an important issue to expose? Oh, I think it's a really important issue to expose. So we sat down with Mark Ferrandino, the head of Colorado's Department of Revenue, which oversees car dealerships in the state and is very aware of Carvana complaints. We're seeing a much more systematic issue with Carvana. They're moving cars so quickly that they haven't done their due diligence behind the scenes to make sure they have a clear title before they sell the car. We found his agency has received complaints from more than half of the counties in our state about Carvana's paperwork problems at the DMV. There's a specific issue that is greater with Carvana than they're seeing with other dealers. Really? And yes, and that's why there was a meeting we had with them to say, this is a problem, it needs to change. Contact Denver 7 has learned state regulators met with Carvana a few weeks ago. The company promised changes, saying they'll get a new contractor and stop selling cars without the title in hand. While Carvana reps have not agreed to an interview, in a statement to Contact Denver 7, a spokesperson points out the vast majority of their more than 2 million customers have not encountered any such problems. Carvana blames the pandemic for paperwork errors, saying now they have made several improvements to their Colorado processes. Do you have confidence that Carvana is actually going to make these changes? You know, I, I, we had the conversation. Um, I'm hopeful because I think stories like this that you're doing, complaints we're hearing from the counties, um, it's an issue. If they want to be able to sell cars, um, they're going to have to improve their processes. But when it comes to enforcement, Colorado's hands are tied. Even though Carvana has a license here and is building a car vending machine in Denver, the point of sale is out of state. So all of these investigations were closed because Colorado doesn't have the authority to investigate? That is correct. Have our laws kept up with technology, with online dealerships? So we as a state and other states need to have that conversation as we see more and more sales across uh, the country. This is a messed up car. Too late for many Carvana customers, which is why the state is now warning, before you buy, get a mechanic to check it out. Is this a buyer beware on online car dealerships? It is important to make sure consumers know uh, what the risk is, especially when you're going online to purchase a car. Here's the takeaway. You have to protect yourself. The state is not doing it, but they say you should find out where the car you're buying is coming from. Check the VIN to make sure it wasn't stolen or severely damaged. Most important, lemon laws do not apply to used cars, so get that car inspected by a mechanic you trust before you buy it. Nice work, Jacqueline.